Hey, what's up everybody? I thought I'd make a quick video on uh, drop shotting brush piles. Uh, it's a great technique to use when the, the fishing pressure is getting pretty up there, when the fish have gotten tough, when they're not biting, you know, moving baits anymore. Um, it's just a great technique to use during those times. I'm not going to go over how to set up a drop shot. I think there's plenty of videos on that and I'll link a couple down below as well. What I am going to cover is some areas to look for on an avionics map. And I'm going to show what a brush pile looks like on a fish finder um, on both the console and on the front deck. I'm um, assuming you have two of them. I definitely recommend that if you don't. Um, but let's get started here. So coming up on this first one, this is just a, a Navionics map of an area that I like to, you know, look for brush piles in. You got an underwater point, you got a ledge, a reef pole, and then a creek channel coming through it as well. And so I graphed over this area and this is the brush pile I found and this is what it looks like on the console fish finder um, now you can tell that it, it almost looks kind of like a I don't know a burning bush is what I like to call them sometimes but um, that's what it looks like on a fish finder you notice I'm going about 3.6 miles an hour which is about idle speed which is what I recommend looking for brush piles in and I'm in about 27 feet of water and this is what that same brush pile looks like on the front console or on the front graph i should say um, notice it looks a lot different than it did on the back one this is because the boat's no longer moving notice i'm stationary now and just wanted to point that out that you know a lot of people think that the brush pile is going to look the same once they get on the front and the boat's no longer moving but that's just not the case because just of the way the transducer works and the way the sonar pings but um, that's what it looks like on the front graph. Um, one of the favorite things I like to do when I'm approaching a brush pile is throw a topwater over it. Try to get some fish to come up first. Um, it's just a, you know, sometimes you can catch some big ones doing it that way and that's a real effective technique. Um, here I get a small one, unfortunately, but you know, you, you can sometimes get that school fired up underneath there and, um, and get some big fish that way. Um, if I don't catch any any good ones or they stop biting top water that way, that's when I'll come over the top of them with that drop shot. And what I'll do is just get over the top of it to where I see that first image that I showed before, drop down on it. Um, and you want to make sure you don't set the hook too hard. You know, you're going to be using light line. We're talking, um, you know, six, eight pound test at the max, usually. Um, so, you know, you've got to use the light line, make sure you don't, don't break, break the, uh, break the fish off or anything like that. Um, again, this is another small fish, obviously, but you know, you get the idea. Um, moving on to another brush pile. This is just another one I found today. Um, just wanted to show you kind of another one, what, it, what another one looks like so you can, can compare again, you know, I'm going 3.3 miles an hour there. And then this is what it looks like on the front deck. So obviously, again, a lot different, you know, once, once I've stopped and I'm on the front deck again, um, just looks a lot different there. Um, you will notice on the right hand side there, you see a couple of fish in this one as well. Um, that's one good thing to look for. And um, that'll just come with, you know, with experience, knowing what the fish actually look like in there. But again, come over the top of it, drop down on it. Um, you're going to just kind of listen for our try to feel a, a thump in it. It's not going to be that tick, 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 like a, um, like a shaky head bite or a Texas rig bite. It's going to be more of a, you know, thump and they kind of try to pull the rod out of your hand kind of thing. So you just got to be careful not to sit too hard, sweep set into them. Um, anyway, it's a great technique to use. Like I said, when the fishing gets really pressured and it gets tough and they stop biting, you know, top water and moving baits, you know, tying on a drop shot, light line, drop down over them, you know, and catch some good fish that way. Uh, just another technique to add to your arsenal. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and subscribe if so. Thanks a lot.